Welcome guys to the stream, back again. Today we are going to do also, like always, we will look at the altcoins that we actually traded in previous uh, live streams. We will also look at very important news for BitMEX and also some different exchanges. And also we will today look at some new indicators that I'm interested in because I see that RSI is actually the very important indicator and I will try to find a better version of RSI and also maybe Moneyflow and MACD. So this will be a very interesting stream to today. So if you are new here guys, we usually when we start we are smashing the like button. So if you haven't already, first of all smash the like button, thank you very much. Of course right now let's look at the altcoins, Bitcoin, Ethereum and then we will look at the news and also on the off of on the new indicators that I am interested in. So first of all, we will start with altcoins that we are currently holding and that we are currently in a trade. So Fun BTC is the first one, and like you can see here, I am still holding this trade. This coin is just not going anywhere, and hopefully we will see another wave. But I, I mean, I'm holding it, so hopefully it won't actually hit our stop loss, but we will actually reach our target up there. Second one is CDT BTC, which uh, I actually I am actually still holding, and this coin pretty much is doing nothing, pretty much like Fun BTC. Hopefully, we will see another wave from this one. VPR BTC still holding this one, nothing really much happened with this one. Poa BTC, uh, I actually got stopped out off of Poa, as you can see, pretty much right there uh, at the lowest point of Poa. So we are currently in a minus 12.25%. I'm going to also calculate everything on the calculator. So we are minus 12.25, 12.25. Next one, let me just remove it from here. IDX, um, still holding this trade, nothing really much happened with this one. Um, yeah, we are currently in a little bit of a profit, but I'm still holding this trade. RSR uh, BTC still holding this trade. BNT BTC I'm still holding this trade. Uh, CHR still holding this one, and ONT I'm still holding this one. I think we actually entered uh, on this coin yesterday, and we haven't seen our third wave just yet. Uh, hopefully, we will actually see um, another wave on this one. What can we do right now? Uh, we will actually analyze uh, coins, altcoins for today's um, altcoin trading ideas. And then, like I said, we will look at the news and also at the indicators on TradingView. So first one is WNXM. WNM. What did I say? WNXM. WNXM BTC on Binance, of course. On an hourly time frame, uh, we can see that this coin uh, just developed uh, a first wave, a correction. Let me just see if this was in fact a correction. Um, yeah, this was a correction to 0 0.618 uh, zone here, as you can see on the Fibonacci. And this is our second wave. We can now enter on the, on the correction of the second wave that we, have, that we have on this one. So from the top to the bottom, we can enter, enter at 0 0.5 Fibonacci level or in this area, like I say in my videos. Uh, let me set a long position. Our stop loss is back there and our first target is up here. I'm also going to add this one on this one, XMBTC, uh, to my watch list so it's easier to actually uh, go to it uh, later. Um, next one is GVT, GVT BTC on Binance. Okay, this, uh, it looks like a pump and because of that I'm actually not going to trade this one. Uh, let me look in the past and let me see if this one is actually moving in the waves. I mean, it actually is moving in the waves. Let me just see here. First wave, second wave, third wave, uh, A, B, C correction. And maybe, which this could actually be uh, our wave where you, we can actually enter because, yeah, it has some uh, increased volume, but we, I think we can actually enter on the correction of this wave. Uh, pretty much right now, I will actually enter at the end of this live stream. So let's say right there, our stop loss is back there and our first target for this one is up here 71.76 percent on gvt which is insane and our stop would be at around 32.42 percent which is 
pretty a lot, but also the target is very, very nice also here. So this is our uh, second idea for today, GVT, BTC, let me add it to my watch list. Next one is QSP, QSP BTC on Binance. Let's look at first wave, a correction, second wave, a correction, third wave, and now also the fourth wave. Because of that, we are actually not going to enter this one. Um, uh, YFI, YFI BTC. Let's see this one. Oh, we already analyzed this one. And because of that, this is our third wave. As you can see, this is our third wave. Now we can actually expect ABC correction. And because of that, we are not going to buy this one. Uh, YFI BTC, QSP, TCT BTC, TCT BTC on Binance. Um, I would personally also not enter this one because it has pretty much very much increased volume. And let me see first wave a correction, second wave a correction. And now we have a third wave. Oops. I messed this a little bit up. Let me just make you something like this. First wave, a correction, second wave, a correction, third wave. We are not entering this one. TCT, BTC, Rune, BTC is the next one. Rune, BTC on Binance. Uh, okay, what can we see on this one? First wave, a correction, second wave, and the third wave. We are also not, cannot enter this one. Ball, BTC, Ball, BTC. Um, Okay, first wave, second wave, third wave. We cannot also enter this one, or first wave, second wave, third wave. We also cannot enter this one. Ball BTC, TRB BTC, TRB BTC. Guys, if you just joined here today, we are as always looking at the altcoins. We are also looking at some news and also some new indicators. We are probably we will try to find some new RSI uh, and also money flow and maybe even make the indicators on TradingView. So stay tuned. Um, let me look at this one, first wave, second wave, third wave, uh, because of that I think we actually won't actually enter it. YFI I saw at 4k and target not to buy, at the moment it is a big big DFI hype. Uh, I mean, yeah, it could be a DFI hype, but because uh, we are only trading it uh, for a shorter period of time, I think that this is actually uh, safe to do. Uh, but right now, as you can see, we actually won't enter it because we already had three uh, Elliott waves and because of that, we are not going to trade it. Um, next one is um, SOL BTC. SOL BTC. Bitman, thank you for the comment. Uh, first wave, second wave and the third wave. We also cannot enter this one. Um, ANT BTC. ANT BTC on Binance already tra traded this one before. And as you can see, this is a perfect example of the ABC correction. A, B, C correction. We won't enter this one. This was ANT BTC. I think we actually missed FTM BTC if I'm correct. FTM BTC on Binance. Um, we already analyzed this one before. A, B, C correction could be, and we can actually right now enter at the correction of this impulse wave right there. Let me go from the top to the bottom. Our entry would be at 0 0.5 Fibonacci level. Our stop loss back there. And our first target would be up here, which will give us 30% on this coin if everything plays out like it should. So FTM BTC, let me add it to my watch list real quick. Next one is FTM ANT BZRX, BZRX BTC on Binance. Uh, just got listed and it looks like we already did three ways, first way, second way, third way. We are not going to enter this one. BZRX uh, comp, C-O-M-P. BTC on Binance. Um, what can we see there? Uh, okay, first wave a correction, second wave a correction, and this is now the third wave. Because of that, we are also not going to enter this one. Comp BTC, uh, JST BTC, J, JST BTC. Guys, uh, are you invested in DFI projects? If yes, let me know in the comments because I pretty much don't know anything about them and also I'm not invested in any of them, but I actually look at some YouTube videos and it seem, seems very interesting. So uh, if you are in, uh, invested in DFI projects, please uh, let me know. Um, so what can we, first wave, second wave, third wave, A, B, C correction, and this could be right now our first wave here. So we could actually enter um, at the correction, on the correction of this wave, but, Right now, it looks like we actually missed this one, and because of that, we are not going to trade this one. Um, can you take a look at PNT? Yes, I will. Just tell me if PNT BTC or PNT USDT pair. Um, next one is JST RSR. I think we already looked at RSR, if I'm not mistaken. Not Huobi. Uh, RSR BTC on Binance. 
Oh, we are already in the trade on this one. Yes, we won't actually uh, look at this one. Let's go with the next one. Ocean. Oh, Ocean is below uh, below uh, 10, but let me just look at Ocean real quick. Ocean BTC on Binance. No, on Bitrex, on Binance. Ocean BTC on Binance. First wave, second wave, and now we are developing a third wave because of that we actually won't enter this one. So this is pretty much for altcoin trading. Today we actually lost 12.25%. Uh, off of this trade that we actually took, I actually deleted it from my watch list and because of that I don't have it right there. Um, we actually lost 12.25% but we are of course still in profits with altcoin trading and also Bitcoin and Ethereum trading. So right now I'm actually going to look at PNT USD. Okay, no problem man. PNT USD, whoops. PNT USD on uh, PNT USD or USDT calculator. This one I think USDT. So, because I think this is actually the pair, let me just go and see PNT, PNT BTC is here, oh, because I have this selected all, PNT USDT, okay, I'm going to look at PSD, uh, uh, P PNT USDT, so first of all, of course, it's better to start on a higher time frames, and this coin just got, um, oh, it's a DFI coin, okay, no problem, but uh, of course, we can still trade it, I would not hold it for a long period of time, but um, you can still trade it. Um, let me just look at the, yeah, today it's went low. I mean, this could be our uh, wave here, Elliot wave here. Uh, first wave, second wave, third wave, A, B, C, I mean, yeah, this could be our wave, Elliot wave right there. Uh, and you could actually enter a long position on this one. Um, around there. So we are at the entry point on this one. If you are interested in this one, uh, yet it, it, yes, it had a pretty big spike right there. Uh, but if you look at Elliott waves, this could be our first wave and because of that we can actually go to the upside right now. So if you're interested, you can actually take a long position on this one or you, you I mean you buy it with USDT uh, because of course you are think it hasn't now it doesn't have feature futures or does it? No futures, um, not if you have futures. I think it doesn't have. Yes, only for short term. Yeah, for short term, it's okay to trade uh, altcoins and also DFI projects. Um, but for longer term, I actually wouldn't hold it because I don't know pretty much anything about uh, DFI projects. And because of that, uh, I actually uh, wouldn't invest in them. But of course, if you actually look at around and see if they are trustworthy, maybe yes, for a short period of time. Okay, then right now, Thank you, Bitman, for comedy. Next one is, uh, please do technical analysis on EOS USDT. No problem. EOS BTC. No USD. Whoops. I automatically type BTC with um, BTC uh, USDT on Binance probably. Um, let me go on a daily time frame and let's see this one. Okay, first wave, second wave, third wave. This could be our um, correction right now, uh, which will look something like this because of the three Elliott waves that already happened, as you can see. Uh, and because of that, we can right now expect ABC correction on uh, USDT on the daily time frame, as you can see. Um, yeah, pretty much ABC correction on the 44 hourly time frame. Right now, I wouldn't actually buy it because uh, you, we can expect a little bit more of a drop, drop on this one. And because of that, I wouldn't buy it. If you are holding it, um, maybe I would wait actually for a pull to the upside a little bit, like I said, because of the A, B, C correction, maybe pull to the upside. Maybe we, when this actor stochastic comes to the top, um, if you are thinking of taking the profits, if you are holding this one, uh, but if you are um, thinking of the, I mean, if you are thinking to buy it, I wouldn't buy it right now, like I said, because of the A, B, C correction that can happen right now. Um, and pretty much we actually fall back down to our um, support level right there. I wouldn't actually buy US USDT right now. Um, okay, so now let me look at Bitcoin and also Ethereum. Um, we did, of course, um, a video today on my YouTube channel. If you haven't checked it out, please check it out. Um, but right now, as you can see, we are trading um, pretty much at this resistance level that we have right there. I also said in my yesterday's live stream uh, that this would be my first target um, because of this resistance here and also we have some uh, touch here, touch here, touch here. So this was a clear resistance level. Uh, my second level, uh, I mean my second uh, target is up here, which is also a CPR level. Um, if I just remove this one and let me apply after stochastic CGO clear right now. No, uh, pivot points I mean. 
you will see that our first pivot point is uh, pretty much at this area and because of that this is my second target and also I said in the video that uh, I actually um, closed my uh, position uh, I mean 50% of my position why because uh, we reached our first target whoops what am I doing Let me go on auto uh, first target second target is right there and we actually made a nice profit of a Bitcoin long trade uh, yesterday price range uh, I entered at 10,500 US dollars and right now I made um, uh, 1.81 uh, uh, 1.18% 1, 1 but because of 10x leverage I actually made 11.8 uh, no problem man, um, Noor Ahsan, uh, and if we will actually reach our second target, this would give us around 20%, but because of this one, it is around 15% of Bitcoin trading, which is very, very nice. Uh, we have more profits actually on Ethereum, uh, because I entered at 393 US dollars, pretty much at the break of this, um, of this trend line that we had. Uh, at the retest, I actually entered a long position on Bitcoin, I mean on Ethereum, at uh, 393 US dollars. Um, uh, okay, now let me just go and see here. I entered at this level. Now, ooh, as you can see, Ethereum is going to the upside very much. I think I actually closed my, I set my limit order at this level. So I think I actually closed my entire position right now. Whoa, nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually closed my position. First, 50% around this area because of the divergence um, and the um, resistance level right there. This was my first target. And right now, we actually reached our second target, which is up there. Very, very nice on Ethereum. Right now, I am out of the trade on Ethereum, as you can see. This was my second target right there. Um, nice. I, how much was this in percentage? Let me just see. Yeah, we actually... Ooh, I was targeting our CPR level here. And as you can see, we actually broke, we are broken, breaking to the upside right now. Um, can you take one look at the Bitcoin dominance chart? Yeah, no problem. But let me just look at um, Ethereum right now. Um, as you can see, we, I actually, we actually reached our target. So if you watch my videos, I pretty much tell you exactly where our target is, where I enter. Uh, so you would be in a nice profit if you, if you would take trades that I did. Price range, let me go from here, where I actually entered and right there. Uh, 58.5% off of the Ethereum trade. Uh, very, very nice. Yeah, Ethereum is the king of alt in my opinion too, but for longer term, I'm only holding Bitcoin uh, and also some Ethereum, but only for trading right now. Um, as you can see, nice profits on this one. I actually closed 50% of my position right there, which was 30% because of the 10x leverage. So I'm just going to calculate everything uh, right now. Let me remove this. 30% uh, plus how much? Uh, there was 58% nice profit on Ethereum. Let me divide this by two. Whoops, 88 divided by 44. 44% off of the Ethereum trade. Very, very nice. This was a very nice trade because it was pretty much low risk. Why? Why it was low risk? Because we were actually uh, setting our stop loss. Let me go with the long position. I entered this one level and I set my stop loss. I will show you where I actually set my stop loss. Pretty much in this area right there. I mean, no, not without this wick, with this wick. 0 0.5 to notch level, there was my stop loss here. Our uh, first target was up there, which was also 2, two to 1 risk to reward ratio. And our second target was just hit, guys. Very nice. And the risk to reward ratio here was amazing. 3.28% uh, on this one. Very, very nice trade on Ethereum right now. Uh, I'm very happy. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Right now, I will also talk about what I think uh, next can happen with this one and what our next trade will be. But right now, I will look at the Bitcoin dominance chart. Uh, why did just why did I just remove the, the indicators? I don't know. Uh, BTC dominance. Um, how do I actually look at this? I think uh, BTC. No, how do I actually look at dominance of Bitcoin? I actually forgot. Um, good trade. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, how do I actually look at BTC dominance? BTC dominance? No. How do you look at the Bitcoin dominance? Can you tell me, please? I forgot. I haven't looked at this one for a while right now. BTC um, dominance contract. No. USD shorts. Um, guys, if you are new right now on the stream, uh, please leave a like down below. It really means a lot to me and also helps the channel uh, grow. Um, 
Bro, can you actually tell me how to look at Bitcoin dominance? Isn't it something like this? Uh, I think it's something like this. BTC.D. Yeah, yeah, I know. BTC.D. This one, I think, right? Is this Bitcoin dominance, right? I think it is. Let me just look at this one. Uh, yeah, I think that, that's it. Yeah, BTC.D. Um, okay, what can... Ooh, Bitcoin dominance is pretty much very, very low right now. Let me go at the weekly chart. I mean, not if we look at the weekly, we actually are at the support level right there, which we have. BTC.D, yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Um, so we are at the support level right there, which could actually mean that we are going to bounce off of this one. Um, let me go on a daily time frame. Um, yeah, we are making, as you can see, we are making double bottom, which is bullish uh, on Bitcoin dominance, dominance right now. Let me go. Uh, does indicators work on this one? I don't think so. Uh, but we are in a major downtrend, as you can see. So yeah, something like this, I would say. Uh, on Bitcoin dominance, we are trading in a triangle, but because of the um, because of the double bottom right there. Let me look at Ahler stochastic here. Um, no, we don't have double bottom on this one, but we have double bottom on the uh, we have double bottom on the um, Bitcoin price. Um, maybe, but this triangle is most likely. I mean, th this triangle is a descending triangle, and because of that, it's more likely to actually break to the downside. But we have a double bottom right there. Uh, I don't know what to think about this, man. Um, like you can see, I mean, if we are going to break this one, let me just uh, show you. If you, we will actually break this, uh, if we will actually break to the upside and make make a higher high, um, this would be bullish. Uh, but of course, this uh, pattern that we are trading in right now is bearish. So I don't know. Maybe we are actually going to break. I mean, double bottom is bullish. This triangle is bearish. So pretty much 50-50 right there, in my opinion. Um, okay, you, um, will Chainlink no go down from $17? Let me look at Chainlink. Um, oh my God, guys, let me just mute my phone real quick. BRB. Okay, I'm back. Um, so uh, Chainlink, uh, link, let me look at link, USD. I think you are talking about USD on link, USDT, uh, Binance. So it is on $16. So guys, smash that like button. This guy deserves it. Thank you very much, man. Um, if you weren't in uh, on the tra I mean on the stream before, as you, as you see, we made nice profits off of Ethereum trading because Ethereum just hit our target, which is very, very nice. Uh, let me look at link BTC, uh, link, uh, link USDT on Binance. Thank you very much for the support. Um, so we are looking at link right now. Um, I mean, this looks like our third wave right there. If we look at Elliott wave structure, here was a perfect example of the Elliott wave structure waves. Uh, I mean, impulse waves, first wave, a correction, second wave, a correction, third wave, a correction. And now, as you can see, we made a nice A, B, C correction. First wave, second wave, third wave again. This could be first wave a correction, second wave a correction, and this is now the third wave. Pretty much I wouldn't along it or buy it right now, because I think we are actually at the all-time high. Yeah, we are pretty much at the all-time high. I wouldn't buy it right now. I would wait uh, to drop below. Uh, and as you can see, maybe even a divergence can happen on a daily time frame, but we actually need to break this um, high right there. We actually need to make a higher high, and here needs to turn red. This would be a divergence on the link. Uh, and personally, I actually wouldn't buy it right now because we are pretty much at the all-time high, like I said, and because of that, I uh, wouldn't buy it. Um, you said, you commented, will Chainlink now go down from $17? I think it actually will. I think Chainlink will actually go back down. Um, but if it doesn't, I mean, what can you do? Um, this is an altcoin, in my opinion, it's not a very good one. Um, I wouldn't personally buy it for a longer term or to actually hold it for a longer period of time. Uh, I'm only holding Bitcoin and Ethereum uh, and also, I mean, for uh, day trading and all this, uh, it is good, but um, right now I actually wouldn't buy it. Okay, guys, right now we will look at the news because uh, I have some very interesting news about BitMEX today. Um, and let me just go and scroll down here. As you can see, this chart is a very interesting one because as you can see BTS futures open interest. So. 
you probably know that Bitcoin actually, uh, I mean, BitMEX now has KYC, which is pretty, uh, pretty bad right now for BitMEX. And as you can see also here, we have the biggest exchange that with the biggest open with the highest open interest as you can see is pretty much binance and the second one is bybit which we are actually using uh, for trading if you haven't already guys sign up on binance i have down below links in the description of this video so it will really means a lot to me if you actually use them um um, because they are affiliate leaks, of course. Uh, so as you can see, BitMEX is pretty much very, very low right now. As you can see, pretty much right there. Um, it is almost, I think it's actually the biggest exchange, or it was, I would say like this, it was the biggest exchange for uh, futures trading. Let me go with market pairs. And, and you will see, let me just look at volume for BitMEX right now. Uh, if we go with the pair here, no pair category derivatives. And if you look at, uh, I mean, volume here is still high but some say that this volume here number this one is actually uh, reported by the exchange which is most probably fake so if we look at this graph here it's pretty much bitmax is very very low but if you look at like this i mean bybit in my opinion is currently the best leverage trading platform i mean femex is also good but uh, i am not using femex because uh, it has uh, pretty much uh, much lower, half of the lower volume uh, of Bybit. Yeah, you can trade uh, gold on Femex, but I'm personally only interested into trading Bitcoin and also Ethereum. Uh, and because of that, I only use Bybit right now for trading. Guys, next year when Bybit competition will be out, I am thinking of creating a team. So if you are interested, please leave a like on this live stream. Um, I will show you, you probably know about this um, competition that is going on on Bybit. Uh, and I'm thinking of making a theme, of course, uh, for my subscribers. So as you can see right now, you probably know, I mean, you probably looked at some of those uh, statistics right there. This one uh, is a YouTuber, Bitjin, it's a Korean YouTuber, but uh, he makes, I mean, very nice videos. Um, and also, you probably know, I don't know if you actually know it, but uh, do you know Cryptoface maybe from the YouTube? Let me look at where he actually is. Cryptoface, I cannot really find it. Where is Cryptoface? Um, where is Cryptoface, guys? What? Is he not on the top troops right there? Whoa, bruh. Oh, here's here. Whoa. Only 14.42% on Cryptoface. Guys, um, I mean, we are using a uh, wave trend indicator just like um, just like Cryptoface, but he is using some kind of a different settings on his um, market cipher indicator. Um, but as you can see, it's not really doing that good. As you can see, only 14.42% on, on this uh, Bybit competition right there. If, if you are interested, guys, in um, joining a team next year or whatever where when this competition next competition will be on bybit platform um please uh, let me know and i will create a team and also pretty much i will try to give you signals where you should actually enter but of course i will not post my signals on youtube i will actually maybe make make a discord group where we will actually post ideas of trades uh and maybe hopefully i mean hopefully we can actually win uh i mean that's a very um uh, positive um, estimate but as you can see some of those are just killing it jalapeno as you can see right there uh, salsa tequila for four thousand and six hundred percent guys wow oh you sold your ethereum nice bro i i sold it also Sounds great, that uh, idea account with my support. Thank you very much. So let me look at Ethereum. I also um, closed my, I mean, I set a limit order at this area, at the CPR level, uh, pretty much right there. Um, let me just show you, at this level. I set it at uh, this level, this, this was my target. And now we actually broke through it, which is very, very nice on Ethereum. But right now, uh, I don't know, I need to, uh, 
actually look at this a little bit better and then I will actually see where I would actually set my buy or maybe sell order on Ethereum and also on Bitcoin uh, because currently we are in a pretty pretty big uptrend as you can see and first of all whoops whoops what have I done uh, and before we actually buy I would like to have a pullback and then actually enter a, a long position or a short position it depends uh, on what um, uh, what will happen here uh, if we will continue to the upside uh, maybe I will consider into entering a long position but like I said first I want to see a pull to the downs I mean pull back uh, pull back down uh, because of course you don't want to buy at the top um, hi what's your thought about ethereum after the heat the hit they received it's going up regard regardless of the news what news about ethereum i haven't heard anything about ethereum uh i don't really know anything about ethereum i know that they are uh they are um releasing uh they are releasing ethereum 2.0 but and i think that the testing about ethereum 2.0 actually failed but about the normal ethereum i don't know anything pretty much uh any news uh, so like I said, I want to first see a pullback uh, and then I would consider entering another long position on Ethereum and also on Bitcoin. Because right now we can actually, um, we will uh, also tomorrow, we will actually get a, a new uh, new CPR, weekly CPR levels, which is very nice. And probably tomorrow I will see where it's a good, um, where it's a good time to actually enter um enter a long position on ethereum and also on bitcoin on bitcoin i, I still uh, i'm still closing 50 percent of my position like i said i pretty much sold uh, 50 percent up here and right now we are actually no not oh i think or here or here uh and now um we are waiting to hit our second target which is up here on ethereum we actually closed our entire position like i said because of the cpr level uh what do you think about polka dot um hi am guys I don't really know anything about the uh, altcoins. I am only trading them on Binance, like I said, because this is, in my opinion, only good way to actually earn from altcoins. I am not uh, uh, holding them for longer term. Yes, you can make money holding them longer term, but in my opinion, uh, 90 or 99% of them will actually fail. And because of that, hold Bitcoin, hold maybe Ethereum uh, and only trade, day trade altcoins. Uh, because of that, I am not holding any of the altcoins. Of course, I am holding the altcoins that we are in a trade, but I am not uh, holding them for a longer term. I'm about to learn. Uh, I'm about to learn and trade. Why not when into a team with you? Thank you very much, Bitman. Hopefully, yeah. When uh, they will uh, maybe make another competition, I will be creating a team. Team, and hopefully we can maybe. I mean, maybe top three. I don't know. Uh, like I said, I haven't done anything like this. Um, of course, you need to be a little bit more risky here because we, you are com competing. Uh, and maybe we, we will see. We will see about this. Um, the Ethereum Classic blockchain suffered a 51% attack Saturday evening. It's third such attack this month noticed by mining company Bitfly, which also spotted the first attack on August 1st. Oh, really? I don't know anything about that. Uh, let me look at the news. I mean, I mean, I have some um, news platforms right there. Let me just look. Uh, maybe there was um, a, uh, I mean, a news. Of, there was a news about that. I don't know. I haven't heard of this. Let me look at some of those more. FBI. What is this? Thanks for great analysis. You're you're my number one TA person on YouTube. Have you thought on doing analysis series on Binance futures coins? Would be amazing to hear your thoughts on them after pumps like today. Uh, I'm interested in the Bobby competition. Yeah, thank you very much for being interested. In what is going on with this one? Um, so, yeah, like I said, on Binance future coins, those are all of those. I think coin futures. I mean, I'm only trading futures on Ethereum and uh, Bitcoin, not on any other ones only on this ones i am spot trading those ones altcoins that we actually do analysis daily analysis i'm trying to do daily analysis on all of them on altcoins and also on bitcoin and ethereum um, but right now i would like to know about this attack that happened with the um that happened with uh, ethereum uh, because ethereum as you can see it's pretty much pumping very much to the upside and it doesn't seem like they have been hacked or anything so 
let me just look at this a little bit closely do we have any news about this because i haven't heard of the attacks or hacks or whatever happened uh, classic hit by third 51 percent in a month what is happening oh this is ethereum classic this is i think the different coin am i right ethereum classic is a different coin yeah an attack on ethereum classic shouldn't affect ethereum yeah ethereum classic i think it's a different coin uh, yeah ethereum classic right there etc let me look at that etc usdt on oops on binance yes oh but i mean the price actually fell down but where when did the, this news came out on the uh yesterday so i mean it has i mean pretty much it didn't did it didn't uh do anything to ethereum classic here the third classic blockchain of Saturday evening. It third such Ethereum this uh, attack this month. Noticed by mining company Bitfly, which also spotted the first attack on August first. You actually copied this one. Really nice, man. Um, <laughs> I remember when I bought that coin years ago. Each one was twenty US dollars. Yeah, this one is right now six dollars and sixty cents. Very cheap. Like I said, guys, most of the altcoins, in my opinion, will actually fail. Only what you can actually hold is Bitcoin and maybe Ethereum. That's it. Until now, I'm holding. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, you're holding. Um, you are holding uh, Ethereum Classic. Well, the tax reorganized over 7,000 blocks or two days worth of mining, according to a tweet shared by Bitfly. The first two attacks reorganized almost 4,000 blocks, respectively. What is Bitfly? It is a company. Custom URL, Bitfly. Ooh, I don't know. Okay, whatever. So yeah, they've been, they had a text, but like I said, this is a different coin. It's not pretty much the main Ethereum. So as you can see, it didn't affect Ethereum at all. It's, it's pretty much making nice uh, highs right there. And we nicely profited off of Ethereum because we actually entered a nice long position on it. Uh, right now, guys, I would like to actually look at the um i would like to look at the um indicators because like i said i am looking for a new rsi and also money flow and maybe make the indicator and we will actually look at them on trading view right now oh if you bought it at 20 us dollars you are in a pretty big loss right now but what can you do um we all make mistakes um right now like i said we will look at the indicators um rsi to be specific and also uh money flow uh, let me just scroll down a little bit here and let's see if there is something interesting super trend grid setup alerts what this i don't know um what can we see right there nothing rsi some g jma modified rsi let's look let me look at this one um, how can a sheep PSR strategy? Let's look at this also. We can also test some strategies. Yeah, why not? We can uh, test the strategy. Let me just save it. Uh, if Fibonacci moving averages ribbon using one plot, no spread by low scanner strategy, uh, Zox oscillator. What is that? It looks nice, but for many stuff, oscillators. I mean, we can also look at this one um, and um, trend following with moving averages actually to scalper 1.0. What is this? Um, what is this? Uh, a weird indicator to catch tops and bottoms and scalp with the signals. Sell, buy. Mm, let me look at this um, further and that's pretty much it. So we are going to look at this modified RSI, which was released pretty much uh, some weeks ago we will look at this one zox oscillator and also this one let me just see if he has a strategy version because of course now he doesn't uh, because we want to actually check it first i mean of course back test it uh no i'm not going to look at this one um i'm going to look at rsi like i said and also macd uh and also let me just see this one let me remove the indicators let me paste this in. 
guys, if you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments. Um, this is pretty much RSI or what? Uh, RSI model with center point of difference. I mean, this one just doesn't work. Um, let me go with another one, which is this one. Hiken Ishi Pisar. Thanks for your answer. I myself like to sometimes future trade some alts that are primed to pump. Yeah, I mean, of course, you can catch some pumps on altcoins. Um, but like I said, I'm only trading um, Bitcoin and Ethereum futures. So this one all was on the two hourly chart. Let me just see if this strategy is actually a good one. Properties shed, set this to 100 right there. Uh, and also inputs. Uh, Tofu, the, the, you are not alone. Oh, <laughs> I think I know what you're talking about. You also bought Ethereum Classic. Very nice. <laughs> Ethereum US dollars. Let me just go here. Oh, I'm on Ethereum US dollars. Why is this not the same? I mean, he has a very nice chart to the upside, but uh, is he using different settings? How can you know? Ripple BTC will be interesting. Um, I mean, BTC, of course, Ripple. Yeah, maybe. I mean, Ripple actually uh, was at the all time high at how much? I think dollar and a half almost. No, two dollars. I was going to say, whoa, three dollars. What? Uh, but right now it's pretty much tanking, as you can see. I mean, with Ripple, it's like that because they are holding 60% of all of the Ripple, which is pretty much they have the. Uh, power to actually control the price and everything so because of that they can just sometimes say we will sell everything and pretty much ripple will just tank and because of that i don't really hold any ripple um so this strategy looks interesting ripoff yeah it's a ripoff guys if you are new here please le smash the like button down below it will only take you one second it's pretty much right now white you need to make it and turn into the blue color thank you very much um we were searching for the strategies, but right now this doesn't look that it could work. Let me just go on the on an hourly time frame. On I mean on a daily time frame. Nope. Nope. Two hour, nope. Three hour. I mean three hour looks good, but it doesn't have that much uh profit. 30 minutes. No, it doesn't look that good. We're going to remove this one and let me just go with the next one, which is this one. I don't know what's this, but let's see. Paste this in let's see i will just found you yesterday thanks thank you very much bro if you haven't already subscribed to the channel uh, also can you actually tell me how did you find my channel i am very interested to know how you actually did it this one looks uh, cool but it looks like magd some kind of magd let's see let's see if this is actually no it's not magd what is this this one looks cool what is this ZOX, this oscillator tool is good for many stuff, forex stock, etc. The color are produced by the difference from the signal line in blue and zero. Yeah, when this crosses. Yeah. Um, strong buy are green. Lime weak buy. Oh, this is lime green buy. Red strong sell, orange weak sell. So we are right now in a strong buy, if I'm understanding this correctly. In a strong buy. Let me go on a daily and see. We are in the red here, what? No, we are not in the red. Um, we are getting into the green. So I think this indicator is not that useful because it has pretty much, I mean, it's lagging. It gives you an indication pretty much when something already happened. And because of that, we are not going to use it. Um, let me look at the, I see you have fun fear too in your watch list. Are you there in a trade? Yes, I actually am. We are holding this trade, but it doesn't look good on this one, as you can see. It looks like we are actually going to hit our stop loss because I am expecting another wave to go. And right now it's just a little bit low. So let me go. Um, have you tried three commas? It has this amazing thing that rises stop profit automatically. So you can ride a pump like Ethereum for you after 413. I don't, I mean, I heard about three commas, but I'm actually not using them uh, because you need to set them up some kind. I think you need to set them up correctly to actually work, but I don't, I, I haven't actually looked at this. I wanted to sell my Ethereum, so I looked up Ethereum stock news and I adjusted the filter to last hour videos. 
to sum it, so I looked up Ethereum stock news and I just did the filter. I mean, hopefully you actually caught the pump here and get a nice profit off of this one. We made off of this one, I think, like I said, around 40% on this one. Very nice. Let me look at the indicators right now, guys. I wanted to actually look at the indicators. So RSI and I want to look at the volume, which is money flow here. Let me look at this. We have relative strength of volume indicators. What is this? I don't know. Let's see. That's how I found your channel. Oh, I wanted to sell my Ethereum. So I looked up Ethereum stock news and I adjusted the filter to last our videos. Oh, that's how you actually found my channel. Nice, bro. Uh, Ethereum stock news. I mean, I don't have any stock news about Ethereum, but maybe you found my channel that way. Okay. Thank you very much for saying hi on the stream. Um, so this is RSI. Traditionally, the RSI is considered overbought when above 17, maybe, right? I mean, relative string and I mean, Nah, bro, that does not good for me. Stock has an indicator for indicators by DGT. What is this? Stock, which one is the, the right one? This one, I think. Oh, they're pretty much, no, they're not the same, what? Um, I don't know what's this, I don't like this. I want a an RSI indicator, but a little bit better. So this is RSI 2 with alerts. RSI 2, this one. So if we look at RSI right now, and let me apply this one, and let me apply also RSI. Let's see what's the difference here. So where's RSI 2? Bruh. Wait, what? It doesn't really work. Or does it? Wait, what? Nah, bruh, we are moving this one away. So let's see. Uh, the only RSI that I think is also very good. Oh, MF RSI. What's this? Oh, this one shows you when MF RSI. This is money flow and RSI. Code from divergence indicator. I've created the MF RSI indicator. A great way to combine two great. Oh, and divergence. Oh, yeah. A alert condition, an alert condition is available on a potential diversion. Money flow crosses RSI on overbought or oversold. What is that? It looks interesting. Let's look at this one. Does he have the code? Yes, he actually does. Whoa, this one looks interesting. So we have the RSI, which is this blue line here. And I think this green one is actually money flow. Uh, let's see. This green is money flow, yes, but. This money flow here is at 30, but now we have this at 55. So H means hidden divergence here, I think. Um, let's see, shapes, 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 nice. Overbought, oversold, RSI period. I want it to be at 14. 14, MFI period, also 14. So we have pretty much red dots here. Very nice indicator, what is that? So it says when Oh, when money flow here or RSI is actually overbought, it's good to actually short here also. Why would you short this if this wasn't at the top? I also filtered last hour for Bitcoin. Oh, that's how you actually found my channel. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, bear. Oh, this was a nice bearish divergence here. Yeah, also on this one. But it actually prints out that there's a... Yeah, we could actually find a R an RSI... A RSI indicator that actually prints divergences but i think actually trading view has automatic um, divergence i think divergence indicator this one i think this is pretty much rsi but with divergences yeah it does yeah this is very also very nice so this could be our indicator for the rsi but uh, if you know uh, a, a youtube channel called um samuel, samuel lich if you are actually trading stocks i mean forex you probably probably heard about this one he is using indicators and he's also selling them, uh, but you can actually find a replica of his indicator, which is called R uh, Smooth RSI. RSI. He is using very similar to this one. This is pretty much a uh, stochastic RSI in my opinion, uh, but a little bit smooth version of the RSI. As you can see, pretty much at the top here, we go, went down at the bottom here, we actually went up. Yeah, it's useful, but 
I mean, I pretty much like more the normal RSI right now because you can actually use normal RSI as the um, as the um, price action. So this is RSI right now. I would like to look at the money flow or also hear money flow. Uh, guys, if you are new on the stream, please leave a like down below. It really means and also helps the channel a lot to grow. Leave a like. Thank you very much for the support. Um, Bollinger Bands money flow, mm, Bollinger Band money flow index, money flow in alerts. Do we have a divergence here? No, we don't. Okay. Smart money uh, percentage here. RC stock, RC money flow. What's this? I don't know. This. Let's see. Do we have maybe a smooth money flow? Smooth. Smooth MRC. What's this? What the heck? Nope. Nope, we are not using this smooth MFI. No, money flow maybe. Mm. I have smooth, smooth, smooth. Nah. Maybe money flight divergence. Do we have something like this here? Someone tell. Uh, someone told me something about TD4. TD4. No. TD sequential, this is a very popular indicator and I haven't used it before. So maybe let me look at this one. Oh yeah, this one has a lot of those numbers. I don't like this. So guys, I think this is pretty much it for today's live stream. If you enjoyed, oh, Ethereum is just pumping to the upside. Very nice. Maybe it will actually hit our, <laughs> our uh, resistance level. Yeah, it will probably hit as you can see here. Bitcoin is doing, nah, Bitcoin is not going up. Ethereum is, as you can see, very nicely pulling to the upside. And it was this was the perfect trade that you can actually took on Ethereum. Because it was pretty much doing broke through, retested our retested our uh, trend line right there, made a higher high right there, retested, you would enter here, boom. Nice profit off of the Ethereum today. So if you are new here, you can actually rewatch the live stream and you will see how much profit we actually made on Ethereum. Also on the altcoin trading, which we will in the negative around 12.5%, I think. Uh, we took our profits on Bitcoin and our second target was actually hit on Ethereum. This is pretty much it for today's live stream. Thank you all guys for being here. Thank you all guys for liking the live stream. Also, if you haven't already uh, watched my latest video about Bitcoin and Ethereum, because I am uploading those uh, videos daily and also doing daily live streams. I'm trying to do daily live streams. Uh, thank you all guys for watching. Uh, and that's pretty much it for today's live stream. And have an amazing day. Peace out. Walking alone, the streets are empty The only thing I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger, step by step The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe Trying to protect your soul
Your soul. 